Hey guys, Nick here. Today we're gonna make some caramel cashew chicken. It's a really simple, really delicious recipe. So if you guys like it, give a thumbs up, let me know, and uh, maybe I'll do some more of these videos. So let's jump right into caramel cashew chicken and the first thing we're going to need to do is grate up some fresh ginger. I took a normal potato peeler, peeled off the bark, and then a box grater and the fine side of the box grater grated the ginger. That'll get you something pretty close to a ginger puree. Next we are going to need some green onions. So I took them and gave them a rough chop until I had somewhere about a half a cup. I like a little bit of heat in this recipe. So I took a fresh jalapeno and sliced off the green flesh, throwing away the seeds and the white membrane so it wasn't too hot. Took the green flesh and julienned it, turned the strips and gave them a rough chop. I like to use roasted unsalted cashews and run the knife through them a few times just to break up the pieces. Next we need a half a cup of freshly chopped cilantro or coriander as our friends across the pond like to call it. Next we need a pound of chicken thighs. I'm using organic free range. I've used both chicken breast and chicken thigh in this recipe and for whatever reason the fat content and the texture of the chicken thigh seems to work out a lot better. And now let's start on the sauce. We are going to start with a half a cup of light brown sugar, quarter cup of fish sauce, another quarter cup of rice wine vinegar or mirin, our two tablespoons of grated ginger, off camera I chopped up four cloves of garlic, one tablespoon of chili paste, one tablespoon of soy sauce, I used low sodium, and then a few dashes of toasted sesame oil. Stir together until the brown sugar has been fully dissolved and everything is mixed well. Now we're taking the cubed chicken thighs, putting that into a mixing bowl and adding a quarter cup of our sauce mixture. Stir it all to combine and let sit for 15 minutes. I am using a stainless steel pan with two tablespoons of grapeseed oil. Vegetable oil would work just as well. And over medium high heat, add in our marinated chicken chunks. For this recipe, do not use a nonstick pan. It won't allow you to develop the caramelization that makes this recipe so delicious. Everything's going to start out and it's going to look a little bit too wet, but as you move those chicken pieces around, the moisture is going to evaporate out of the pan, and that's exactly what we're looking for. And it was right about here I decided I wanted to add a couple more tablespoons of our sauce to help with the caramelization process. Let the chicken sit for a few minutes, stir it around, let it sit for a few minutes, Continue that process until you start to see the color develop. A lot of the moisture has left the pan, and now is when the browning is going to start to happen. Caramel cashew chicken, we're getting there. It's starting to caramelize on the bottom of the pan and stick to the chicken pieces. This is exactly what we want to see. I know it looks burnt on the camera. Don't worry, it's not. After about 10 minutes of cooking, this is what you should see. Now we're going to add in our green onions, as well as the jalapeno and the chopped cashew chunks. Stir everything to combine. We're only going to cook the ingredients for one or two minutes, just to soften up the cashews, and then we will pour in the remainder of our sauce. Give everything a stir again. It's really going to help pull a lot of the caramelized bits up from the bottom of the pan, adding to flavor and really thickening up the sauce. Now we can throw in the cilantro and shut off the heat. There's enough reserved heat in the pan to help stir that cilantro in and get the flavors distributed. And now it's time to plate. I took a small ramekin, filled it with some steamed jasmine rice and topped with some white and black sesame seeds. Add a few spoons of our beautiful caramel cashew chicken and top with some chopped green onion and we are done. Again, just a simple, delicious, easy to make recipe at home. You have salty, sweet, sour, spicy. It has all the good aspects. 
feel free to leave a comment below and give me some feedback and thank you for watching.